Bernardo is a business administration and accounting graduate from Lisbon Polytechnic Institute and holds a specialization in business analytics. Galvanized by his interest in economics, technology, and culture, Bernardo has recently developed an economic theory called Harbor Georgism that leverages prior contributions in economics in novel ways to offer solutions with Web3 as intermediary on how to sustainably develop the new digital era and ultimately improve the physical world as well. He currently volunteers as a researcher at the Ethereum Foundation. Bernardo. So, so thank you very much, Carl, uh, first of all, for the invitation to speak before this tremendously well-accomplished audience. It's a great honor to be here. Um, and I, I'll try to make the, the, the presentation as interactive as possible since we are late in the day. So, so Harbor Georgism. Uh, so yeah, this has been uh, an economic theory that, that I've developed, um, an aggregate economic theory that I've, that I've developed, uh, which uh, is inspired in two prior contributions, contributions in economics, uh, which are Georgism and Harberger, Harberger taxation. And, um, and, uh, and with the ultimate mo motif of, uh, of uh, um, y you know, the, the ultimate motif of, uh, on, uh, sorry, uh, of uh, using this, these two theories in, uh, in novel ways to like potentiate um, development in the physical world. And uh, just as a, as a little preface, uh, this wasn't the, the original idea at all. Like, uh, like a few months ago, I was um, hearing, uh, like all of you were, like uh, hearing all this buzz around like NFTs and metaverse and these kinds of concepts, and I and I was just thinking what it, what was like the the teleology behind this, like the, what was the the purpose, what was the uti the utility of this, and I was getting kind of worried because it w uh, s seemed like j j was seeming like a d just um, a double down on the digital world, and I was thinking that. Uh, since uh, for the last few decades we've been uh, kind of um, uh, lagging behind in the physical world, um, I was thinking like in a way of making this uh, digital trend not stop there and, and make it physical. And so, yes, so, so that's, uh, so it's, it's inspired in Georgism and Arberger taxation, starting with the, yeah, Georgism, it's, uh, uh, Henry George was an American economist and he developed this theory in the 19th century and basically he said that uh, land is a natural and earned uh, good with fixed supply and uh, that taxing the value of land uh, was the most logical and sensible source of, of um, public revenue. And uh, basically the, 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 the George's tax was the land value tax and uh, he argued that uh, we should abolish all the taxes that hinder production and only have this one which would uh, heavily um, tax um, landowners. On the land, and uh, he also argued that the, this tax was more than enough to, like, uh, uh, the, the revenue collected from this tax was more than enough to fund public services and even to distribute UBI for the citizens. Um, and uh, his main, like, um, like um, conclusion was to reduce economic inequality and to foster economic progress with this with this kind of tax. And the other theory is uh, Harberger tax, also an, an American economist. Uh, st still living, and he said that uh, this, this theory, like asset owners, could self-assess the, the value of, of their assets and pay a per periodic tax on that value. Uh, and at any point in time, um, um, anyone could, could buy that asset at that self-assessed price. And uh, uh, yeah, and the, and the point of this was basically to, to make it uh, a more efficient. Um, and swift allocation of resources, and as the last point says, like uh, to, uh, to 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 put, uh, to uh, imp improve like this balance uh, between the investment and the locative efficiency of a thing, like to not uh, hold out assets at a monopolistic price, and to improve on the allocation and not only the investment, and this would ultimately ultimately um, uh, result in greater w welfare gains. And so basically, this, uh, both these, these theories, I think, are um, like actu actually occurred from, from the Shire Cities Institute that alluded er earlier. I think that they will come in a new way in, in the future. Uh, there's a possibility for, for them to come back and to be rethought in this new, new uh, Web3 uh, blockchain context. 
And so, uh, um, more focusing more on this uh, Web3 trend, like uh, I think the blockchain has um, created for new types of assets, goods. Basically, the most famous ones we've all uh, heard of, like uh, the NFTs are, are, are tradable but non-fungible, like a piece of art. The other one is the non-tradable fungible token, which basically could be a course, which is non-tradable because we're not going to buy courses from one another, but it's fungible because uh, uh, many people could have taken the same course. Uh, tradable fungible tokens could be just um, uh, cryptocurrencies, which, which are tradable and fungible because there are many of the kind. And uh, non-tradable, non-fungible could be like a passport, uh, an on-chain passport, which uh, non-tradable, we're not going to buy or sell passports from one another, and it's fun non-fungible too, because uh, it's unique, like a, a biometric uh, da data test, it would also fall in this category. On the Georgism, Georgism piece, uh, I think, uh, so it focus on, focuses on land, and therefore land is, a, is an, an NFT because it's tradable, you can buy it from one another, but it's not fungible because it's unique, no square meter of land is the same as another. As for har the, the Harburger part, it's assets in, gen in general, it's like an ambiguous term, so it could fall, I guess, m pretty much anywhere. I don't, I, I'm not saying that uh, every picture of this falls under the asset category, but it, that could, could be changed. Uh, and so, yeah. So, following the, the Harburger, I think uh, by some, uh, somewhere by the end of this decade, we'll have six different types of assets. Uh, centralized phys physical assets, so maybe just this microphone, if I owned it, it would be mine. Centralized virtual asset, like just an asset on a Web2 web game. This decentralized physical one would be one uh, where um, Harburger tax, uh, tax would be um, implemented. Decentralized virtual, just like a, a tool on a, a Farmville game, uh, GTA, GTA or something. Decentralized ownership of a physical asset uh, would be just the ownership of of, um, of a digital digital asset on a, on a on a blockchain, and I would own that um, on-chain ownership. Uh, and and the last one was just would just be the the a mix of, of, of the, the prior two would just be a proxy for the ownership of the physical one and we, we would have it all also in the virtual. For land, you know, the, the last two types depend on how, how well like Elon and NASA do, um, but, uh, uh, but the, the first three, one, th three ones are basically the same as the assets and then the next three I, I think will uh, fall in the, cate the category of metaverse, crypto city and a mix of both where we could uh, do something like remotely or virtually and the same thing would happen um, in real life, like operating a tractor remotely and that tractor would uh, do th that same job in a, in a farm in real life. Uh, and so, yeah, so just, uh, just a, little, uh, a little bit of a, of a context to crypto cities and metaverse. So uh, I, I think the cultural timing and technology, technology are in, in place to start ad advancements as, as a, uh, Curtis again has, uh, has alluded to. And uh, I think the rising interest in local governments, also potentiated by COVID, has um, uh, potentiated this and the uh, more widespread debate on, on crypto ideas as too. And here we have a tweet by the um, uh, mayor of Miami, Francis Suarez, like uh, this guy was uh, uh, suggesting how could we like um, uh, switch uh, the, the, um, these, these initiatives from Silicon Valley to, to Miami and he was not uh, ironic er, er, at all, not self-serving. Self he said the, like uh, how could he help and uh, they're really making advancements at this point there in, in Miami. So um, yeah, so this is the certainly not a rough diagram, um, of course a real economy has a, a million other types of different um, transactions, but yeah, just the Harvard George just flow of things, and we'll get we'll get into each, and we'll start with the, the with the city coin, once, and the, just a dinner circle would be just the normal normal person pers normal normal people would be all, could be also NFT in investors, and we we will see why. Um, so then, yeah. So the the first point is is more of an economic one, and pardon. And yes, so like we've seen uh, on the George's piece, like uh, a creation of economic alignment could be the creation of, of, a, of, of a city coin. And that city coin would um, um, 
be, uh, be paralleled to a number, a number of dif different square meters of land or, or shares would be sort of, of that NFT that, is, that the city coin holders could uh, hold. And on the last two, and the last two points are more like, are more incentive incentive wise. So encouragement of pro, pro social activities could be just incentivizing a local business shopping, or uh, more effective waste management, for example. Example. And uh, the last one would just be like uh, we see in the picture, like more pedestrian uh, and environmentally friendly, and the, uh, contributing to a more um, pleasant city with the more effic efficient green public transporta transportation. On the DAO, yeah, uh, j j just just to preface, like uh, I, I, uh, a DAO can be a million different things, but uh, here is like the city government or a government would be this piece, and the business could also be a DAO, but uh, I just uh, dis distinct them just just for the sake of, of cl cl clarification. And so, just for you to see, like um, the both arrows that uh, point to the DAO are are. Uh, the Harbor Georges tax, like the Harburger and Land Value, value Tax, and the DAO, uh, the uh, output of the DAO would be like the public funding and the, the, U, the UBI. And so the Land Value Tax would allow the DAO to make a return on the investment in the public goods, since the, the Land Value Tax received would increase and um, uh, greater revenues would um, be able to get a, uh, be extracted by the DAO. And also to generate revenue to dis distribute to the community by the UBI uh, part. As for the Harburger tax, is the uh, more or less as, we, as we, we've seen, uh, it uh, would benefit the community from the improved allocation of the assets from the fairer pricing structure. And uh, here is, is sort of a formula uh, on the first member, like the inputs and the last one outputs. Um, and then I just picture like uh, an unsuccessful scenario with where. The, um, the business would, uh, so I, yeah, so, the, um, you know, nothing particularly wrong with a place like this, but uh, it's just, um, um, there's a lot of, of vacant land, there's a lot of potential, uh, of, um, of, of, of potential to, to, to every, uh, a lot of things could, could be developed in a place like this, and I argue that, and then I, uh, so as you've seen, like, uh, I hope you see well in the back, like uh, the parts that are in gray are like the parts that wouldn't work that are linked to the business side. That's why it's unsuccessful. And um, NFT inverse investors could, um, would like uh, crowdfund the business uh, and, and the business uh, could um, like be working in, in the beginning, but if, if uh, they fall behind on the, if, if, if they, they, they start seeing like leg, lagging revenues, uh, they would uh, have to adjust their Harburger tax since it, the Harburger tax would be like um, would be like too high f for the revenue that the business was deriving, and therefore they have to they would have to lower the valuation of the business, um, and um, and by lowering the valuation of a business, it becomes more propitious to other potential investors to buy that business. And uh, they could try that, but if they keeps not working, they, like the business part fails. And uh, the, the city coin holders, like, um, well, the, 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 this would have to be seen, but they would lose in this case on the invest, uh, the NFT investors would lose on this, on this investment because they would crowdfund, but wouldn't see like the royalty come back. And the city coin holders would provide the land value tax to the DAO, but uh, they wouldn't see like rent coming uh, back uh, because the business has, has somewhat failed. And um, so, so, and now picture a successful scenario where everything like works, the business, um, everything like works, the business sees, sees progressively greater revenues, the Harburger tax is, is, is no problem uh, because, you know, the business just, just increases in revenue. So they would, so they would, would just like, um, could uh, uh, progressively make greater reevaluations on the business and uh, to and keeping away uh, like these potential buyers, and so uh, so the Arbiter tax, as you see, is like meritocratic too. And yeah, we would have this sort of city that that would be sort of developed, and uh, I think would uh, would would be great f for every, every economic agent that we see on that di diagram. And just yes, some initiatives. Um, some of them are using Arbiter tax, others not, but. Uh, 
there's city coins I think they they have now projects in uh, Miami New York and Austin Texas um, and then um, as a, uh, a speaker today I don't remember who sorry but uh, they alluded to the city Dow who bo who are buying uh, who bought like 40 acres of land in Wyoming to start out a blockchain city and then on, on the, on the metaverse meta side it's just uh, that there are sand uh, sandbox and this central land which as of today, are not using um, any economic theory, but I th I, I'm guessing that may change in the future. So, yeah, basically, just to, just to conclude, like um, um, I, I argue, like the, the, uh, both these theories are like complementary in, the, in different ways. Um, but uh, one thing that unites unites them is, is basically the the, uh, the purpose of them, which is like decentralization. And uh, because uh, George, Georgism uh, decentralizes from the land, landlord would like uh, fall out of the scheme, and uh, it uh, and would be like the land would be owned by the community and not the, not the landlord, and basically the Herberger tax uh, would be from a, um, a sort of monopoly to uh, to a community w wouldn't uh, really decentralize but would make it sort of less less private because if a business is not doing that well, the um, business owner would have to. Uh, be sort of obligated to um, to lower that re-evaluation re and make it more propitious for other people to to, to buy it out. Um, and so, uh, and basically, I, I do argue too that uh, we do need some new for this Web three era. We do need some new model of uh, of economics of governance. Um, we shouldn't like uh, mimetri mimetically extrapolate from the what we know in legacy cities or. Um, Web two, web two realities, and um, just copy that. We we, sh we should think uh, a new of uh, uh, these new crypto cities and uh, and this metaverse reality. And so uh, I do sh uh, I, I do hope that uh, Herbert Georgism just does help on that front or, or some derivation thereof. Um, and we we could start envisioning how we could op open like the the physical frontier the physical frontier, which. Uh, uh, we've seen, and I'm Western European, by the way, so I do see this um, decline in the, in the physical uh, world too, which uh, has has been like um, degrading our society in all sorts of ways. Um, and so, just just to end, I would like to end maybe in just a, 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 th a theological point. Uh, I found these two quotes that are like um, I think um, adequate to, to the event tonight and since the to, to today and. The, since the concept of Mormon transhumanism is so present with us today, like um, um, I started reading, like uh, do not be confirmed to this world, but be transformed by the re renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and, accept and acceptable and perfect. And I do argue that uh, if we um, work toward this this renewal, to, toward this new state of beginning, God uh, has, pre has previously and will again create the heavens and the earth. So, thank you.